This is a list of 23 key mind control related devices that have been issued patents from the United States Patent Office between 1956 and 2003. Many of these patents are microwave technology, used in electromagnetic mind control, and organized stalking of individuals with directed energy weapons. This is not a list of all patented mind control technology and devices in the United States. This is only some of them. National Security Agency Devil Worshippers, known to be working long-range takeover plans here spanning several generations, were also known to have plans to use many of these technologies to mind control the planet, including the United States population. These satanic mind control monsters are still inside of our government today, running the show behind the shield of the National Security Act of 1947. Other mad scientists, such as Dr. M. A. Persinger, inventor of the God Helmet, and authority on electromagnetic mind control via microwaves, have further developed electromagnetic mind control using these patented technologies. What Dr. Persinger is saying is that virtually any mental state can be artificially injected into a human brain from an exterior source. The most frightening thing is that the means for doing this already exists in a fully operational form on a worldwide basis. Quote, the power levels for these amplitudes are similar to those associated with the signals generated globally by radio and communication system. Within the last two decades, a potential has emerged which was improbable, but which is now marginally feasible. This potential is the technical capability to influence directly the major portion of the approximately six billion brains of the human species by generating neural information within a physical medium within which all members of the species are immersed." Unquote. Dr. Persinger's message, minus the jargon, is that the entire human race can be controlled through the use of electromagnetic influence piggyback on television and radio networks or other technological means. Effectively, all consciousness is due to electromagnetic patterns generated within the brain. What we do is imitate what the brain normally does and apply it experimentally. Like, you know, where are these thoughts coming from? Those thoughts came from the Neuroscience Laboratory at Laurentian University in Sudbury, Ontario. I've got one that can see. He's a tall Caucasian male, doesn't appear armed, wearing sunglasses. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. 